the scariest chapter for me is the medical chapter, mm -hmm. where our medical system has been entirely captured by this woke virus. And so, for example, um, every year there's like a conference where the best doctors who deal with premature birth babies uh, get together and they talk about it and they have like the four absolute best who tell you what happened in the last year because things are always changing and, and improving in the field. And so they recently uh, had this conference or in about a year and a half ago maybe and um, they realized that the four best doctors in this field are white men and you can't have that. So now they're going to introduce women and make sure that the ethnicity spread is, is wider on the stage. But so now you no longer have the best doctors. You have good doctors maybe, um, but you're looking for other things other than best and that is so scary. And then in order to get into medical schools, you need to write an essay on how you're going to promote diversity and, and the rest in your practice. And it's terrifying. It, to me, that really takes away the ability of a doctor to say what they want to say, investigate what they need to investigate, and really not feel like they are, um, you know, have to conform to some ideas. It's it's such a good point because with a doctor, you don't want them thinking about any of this nonsense. No. You just want them to treat you. That's right. it. Right. And I, the, yeah. And the gender thing comes up in the medical thing too, where the doctor has to pretend that they don't know what gender you are for real, and you know, <laughs> like they have to give you tests that don't apply to you because you know you say that you're this gender and your your birth sex is something different. We also keep coming across that, and so. It just every minute that is spent on this, people people are going to die. Mm -hmm. This is going to lead to death. We might not know it, we might not see it, but it is going to happen. And of course, because a woman having a heart attack is very different to a male having a heart attack. Uh, absolutely. And the dosage that you have to mm -hmm. give and all the rest of it. And this, I mean, a heart attack is a perfect example because someone's having a heart attack, you don't have a lot of time to then go, right. oh, I wonder what this person with a vagina <laughs> identifies as. <laughs> That's exactly it. And it's it that kind of thing is really terrifying. So my co-author uh, is the homeschooling mom of six. I have three kids. I have two in public, one in private school. And she homeschools her children. She pre-reads the books. She doesn't let them watch any modern television or YouTube or anything. I'm much more permissive. And for me, we kind of lay down the foundation at home. We we really talk about a lot of different things that we wish we were, didn't have to be talking about on a, on a lot of different levels. But she'll say that no matter how much she opts out of culture, she can't opt out of her pediatrician's office. And so this, no matter how much you want to pull your kids from this insanity, you have to go to the doctor sometimes. And so you might not be interested in woke, you know, but woke is interested in you. And how does this play out against what I think is a very good system? Again, Dave and I talked about this, the federal system, where you, you can do what you've done, which is if you don't like what's happening in the jurisdiction that you live in, you can move somewhere else. Like, yeah. are, are you able in this country as an American to go, well, I don't like this, I am going to move to wherever, and there I can vote for my school district or whatever to be yeah. the way that I want. Is that still possible, or is this yes. like you can't escape it? Yes, that is still possible in some ways, but the medical thing, for example, yeah. that's a national accreditation yeah. society, so it's not a local thing. You can't move to Florida. You might, you just might find more doctors who don't subscribe to this kind of thing and who will do things, you know, in a normal way, even though they've been taught to do it in an abnormal way. You might find more of them in places like Florida, um, but they have been accredited by the same licensing groups that push this. So, it, and it's it, it's happening on such a wide level that it's, it's tough to find rational, sane doctors. Um, and, you know, like, even in Florida, we sort of have like a whisper network, like, is your doctor normal? Can <laughs> I have him? Like, and that's the, that's how you find your MD even here.